Hi, my name is Scott Whitley, and this is the first in a series of uh, videos I'm doing free uh, for YouTube on the subject of slap bass. Uh, slap bass is a major part of the way I play the bass, and it's certainly the reason I got into playing bass in the first place. Um, the the main sort of uh, inspiration for me was a guy called Mark King from Level Forty Two. Um, up to that point, I wasn't really interested in playing the bass. Um, to me, it's the coolest uh, style of bass player there is. But there you go. Now, there's a lot of myths surrounding slap bass. Uh, one of which is it's very hard to do. Um, that you need to be really fast or something. Uh, this kind of thing. Another is that it's a showy off flash technique or something. Um, and that's certainly something that I don't believe. Uh, to me, it's just a form of expression. It's very rhythmic. It's like playing percussion, uh, really. I, I, you know, if you if you likely to a, a percussionist playing sixteenths on a tambourine, you know, you wouldn't sort of think, um, why is that percussionist being really flash playing sixteenths? It's just what he's doing. It's a rhythm he's playing. Same with a drummer um, or uh, somebody playing tablas or whatever it is. You know, so that's the way I see it, it's just literally another form of percussion that happens to be on the bass uh, and you can add notes in there and be playing a bass line at the same time so it's a super musical way of playing bass if you look at it that way um, so what I'm going to do is is break down the, uh, the three components uh, of slap bass and to demonstrate hopefully that it's not a really hard technique to, to do. It does take a lot of practice, uh, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying it's something you can get together overnight and be super proficient at it, but you don't have to be superhuman to do it either, okay. Um, just takes a bit of perseverance. So here's the thing, a lot of people think, as I said before, that um, if you're playing 16th sort of patterns on the bass, uh, this kind of thing. <laughs> that kind of thing people think that you've got this like mega fast thumb or something like oh you're, you you know like why or how fast is, is that bass player it's it's just not the case um, it's a combination of three components the first is the thumb uh, or the slap and that's this kind of deal here we go just hitting the, the, uh, the string with the thumb and bouncing off Okay. The second component is the pull or the pop, uh, as Americans like to call it, which is this. Now that's just hooking your finger under the string there and just pulling at it, letting it snap back on the fingerboard. Okay. And the other kind of secret uh, component is the left hand slap. And this is the bit that a lot of people don't realize exists, they, they, they miss this bit altogether and that's this or this is that as the case may be okay no notes involved it's just a percussive thump like that now then the combination of even just the thumb and the left hand slap uh, allow you to get some really really funky kind of 16 things going on if I just play with my thumb I mean um, I mean Bear in mind that this isn't about speed, I'm not trying to suggest that, but a lot of uh, slap patterns um, break down to 16th patterns or 16th triplets, things like that, um, or 8th note triplets, and, and those things are um, a pretty, they sound pretty fast, so uh, so what I'm, what I'm trying to demonstrate here is, this is as fast as I can slap, right? I'm not going to keep that up for more than a few seconds. Okay. Um, the point is that um, you don't need to do that. I mean, a, a pattern like this, for example. That sort of thing. Uh, the thumb's just kind of doing... That sort of thing. The rest of it is coming from the left hand, okay, and the odd pull. 
Um, just to break that kind of thing down, the uh, between the, the thumb and the left hand, thumb, left hand slap, maybe a dead, a dead thump I think. No, we've got a live one. Slower. So there's quite a few mu muted thumbs as well. I'm doing the left hand slap, and then I'm playing as well. I'm going to show you more. Um, uh, specific patterns in further lessons. It's just to give you a kind of overview of, of, of what's involved. Um, another thing you can get out of this kind of technique is, is these kind of crazy triplet things like a that sort of thing. And again, that's um, a pull, a left hand slap, and a muted thumb. And they're just kind of leading a, a, a melody line or a bass line. A bit better. That sort of thing. So I hope this just gives you the idea that, um, or, or the understanding now, that slap bass isn't about having a mega fast thumb. It's just a case of using your thumb, the left hand slap, and a pull, uh, and just using a combination of those things. And uh, as I say, even doing the crazy triplets, each component of those three components is going this fast. That's it. Easy. Uh, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, there'll be more videos online soon. Thanks very much. Cheers.